John, I have an exciting announcement for you. Tell me. I have introduced legislation for any performer who says that you were an influence or Python was an influence that a portion of all their earnings must go to you. Yeah, quite right. I like you very much, Gina. There should be more people like you on television. <laughs> How are you? I love Milwaukee. You've got German restaurants. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And I saw you when you were here, and it was a great pleasure. Uh, oh, you good. know. You've been very public about disliking children, yet you do a movie like this. Can you explain that? Uh, well, I don't, I don't mind children if there are other peoples. Uh, <laughs> actually, I was, what I say about children is that they, uh, you should avoid them at all costs because they cost a fortune. They really do cost a Then you worry yourself sick about them. And then they grow up like their mothers. So, I mean, it's the whole thing's a dead loss, but I've actually got a couple of daughters I was lucky that I actually like, uh, both of whom live in L.A., and one of them comes on stage with me all the time. Her name's Camilla. She is a stand-up comedian. I'm a sit-down comedian these days on account of my age, but she's very funny. So the two of us do an act together, and people are quite surprised to see a father and a daughter bickering <laughs> in public. Let's talk about this character because there is a magic and a charm to him, isn't there? Yeah, it's lovely. And uh, he was easy to play because I didn't have to get any laughs. So I just had to be sort of uh, charming, which I am. I am immensely charming. And um, I had to be sort of a little bit mysterious and totally benevolent. And I had to, to like Darcy, which is not difficult at all. And also Whitehall. I like Whitehall. He's, he's, uh, he's very funny. Very he's funny one of the people that I'm, I'm going to have him give a portion because he said you were such an influence. Put, it, put your money where your mouth is. That's what I say. How interesting. I'm an influence on his stuff because he does a very good stand-up. Uh, it was a nice, a nice, uh, a very nice crowd, you know, and uh, that's why I like working with the producer because he always uh, has a lovely atmosphere on his films and he knows what he's doing, which is uh, pretty unusual <laughs> for a producer. How do you handle it? Because people are jealous of your comedic ability, your charm, your good looks. How do you, how do you deal with that? I am ground down by the envy of the world. Wherever I go, people sit there going bright green. It's a terrible burden. <laughs> but I'll be dead soon, and that will cheer them up. I love you. There is nothing I wouldn't do for you, John. Thank you so much. You made my day. Oh, nice. Great. All the best. Good, good fun talking to you. God bless. Thank you. Bye-bye.